My name is Paulina, I'm a junior, I was born and raised in Paraguay, and I play for the Long Beach State tennis team. Hi, my name is Jordan Candelaria, I'm on the Long Beach State women's soccer team. My name is Steven Deutsch, and I'm a redshirt junior on the men's golf team. Mi nombre es Judith Oliva Fernández, soy sophomore y juego para el equipo de baloncesto de Long Beach State. My name is Cristian Martinez, I'm a senior here at uh, Long Beach State and I uh, run cross country and track and field. I think it's really important that we see Hispanic representation across all sports because growing up as a little girl when I saw like a Hispanic athlete that was doing really well it made me realize that I myself could get to that level whether that was the pros or college level I just knew that I could do it as well even being from a small state like New Mexico where um, being an athlete is hard to get, find representation or to get out usually, that just gave me that motivation and that confidence that I could do it too. In the golf community there's not a whole lot of Hispanic professional golfers so I feel like it's really important for us to represent ourselves well and with like the new expansion in golf with it now being an Olympic sport and being able to represent your country as a Mexican athlete, I feel like it's really important for golf to be more accessible to the younger generation. Growing up I've always been really inspired by this tennis player called Veronica Cepede. She is really amazing and coming from such a small country like Paraguay and being able to represent us in like the biggest tennis tournaments in the world was really amazing to me. The path that we have to follow is really, really hard and we definitely have less opportunities, but by fighting through those adversities, we can show the world that we can still be just as great as everybody else. I think it's uh, hugely important to see Hispanic representation in sports. Um, one example I could think of is Luis Grijalva. Um, if you don't know the name, I'd look into his story. He was a DACA recipient. I think it was 2021. He had the opportunity to go uh, compete and being a DACA re recipient, you're not allowed to leave the, the country. And then I think there was a huge petition to get him out and he was able to get out there and represent for Guatemala. And that was a win for like all of the Latino communities. If I had the opportunity, I would, I would take it in a heartbeat to represent Mexico. El sacrificio que han hecho mis padres y el gusto en común que tenemos por este deporte siempre me han motivado para seguir creciendo y jugar al baloncesto. Y el dar este salto a jugar a Estados Unidos eh, a alto rendimiento eh, ha sido una decisión muy dura porque son nueve horas de diferencia desde España hasta aquí. Es un trato que se lleva duro porque el hablar con mis padres siempre se hace difícil. Tengo que hablar o a primera hora de la mañana o entre clases y luego ya se van a dormir o yo me despierto. Entonces es difícil estar con ellos, pero yo siempre intento estar ahí para ellos porque sé que me echan de menos y yo también les echo de menos. And join us. Acompáñanos. Join us. Acompáñanos a celebrar el mes de herencia hispana. Join us in celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month.